You probably sit there and go, okay, I'm ba I'm back, but we're not back. You know what I mean? We're not back, and it's like, what God are you gonna ask to be back? You see what I mean? Like, what would what would you what would you call? Who who are you gonna call? Are you gonna call the Ghostbusters? You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of ghosts out there, and sometimes. They they take they take you back to your homeland, but they set up a set of rules that you know um, exclude you from the rest of the world. You know what I mean? And some people like that. But to be honest, that's not a bad thing. At the same time, it's always like they do anything with another country, they get fucked up by another country. Because that's always how it happens. Whenever the Jews used to worship another god. God would send another country with another God to punish them for it. It happens all the time. Now, every once in a while, there was a plague here and there, and there was a uh, that there was uh, like famine. You know, every once in a while, it would be like that. But usually, they go call the you call the king of Babylon. Boom, he takes them over. Okay, you call the king of Egypt. Boom, he fucks them over. You know what I mean? Call the king of Assyria, he fucks them over. Like, we had certain kings of back up, certain kings of uh, Canaan, you know what I mean? The Amathite, or whatever the case may be, the Philistines, boom, they start fucking with them. And that's how it always works. You see what I mean? You know where I'm getting at with this, but at the same time, out of all respect to this guy, out of all respect to him, like, Sometimes you could, you know, what are you gonna do? They and at the same time, it's like you have to kind of punish them for not worshiping him. You know what I mean? You have to punish them for that, and it's a tough call. You know, it's a tough call. And a lot of times they punish them on the for, next generation gets punished for that shit, and the next generation gets punished for that shit. And like you see how this guy moves. At the same time, nobody really told you to go worship this God, you know. Nobody. I that not one. All right, so maybe a Christian came to you or whatever. They 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 advertised Jesus. They never said this one. But this one is where Jesus comes out of supposedly. You see what I mean? And uh, there are some people that are holding against you. For not being a Jew. You see what I mean? There are some people that will hold that shit right against you and will sit there and tell you, black man, you are the true chosen people of God. You just see the Abraham, son. Now, if you look at the Bible cl closely, you know that before Sarah gave birth to Ishmael, no, sorry, before Sarah gave birth to Isaac, um, he went to Egypt and gave Sarah to um gave Sarah to Pharaoh. Uh that was supposedly his wife, right? But it was really his sister. T true story, it was really his sister, his half sister. Gave him Pharaoh before that now. That would have had to be in the 2000s BC. You know what I'm saying? If it if it went down, and like or or earlier. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, his house was plagued. What was the plague? You see, people don't ask those questions. Sometimes another thing that always pops up too, just to skip along, is that the Canaan curse. People always wonder what was the Canaan curse. What was the king? What, what, what was he cursed with? You see what I mean? What was he cursed with? They cursed Canaan. What was the curse? Later on, we see that he went from El to Baal. Baal, if you investigate this motherfucker thoroughly, was in challenge to El and Yam, who had the throne. Now, that throne was of the Canaanite Phoenician jurisdiction. I said, and Asar got the throne in Egypt. Due to Ptah. 
You see what I mean? Do the baton, Amun, and Ra. They gave the uh, Ra's name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at, at Tom's completion. You see what I mean? Pata's building. You see what I mean? And uh, and Amun's uh, what you would call it? And and you know, yeah, Amun. <laughs> All right. The the way Amun works is like he's that hidden force behind everything. You see what I mean? That hidden thing. Like, if you understand how Jesus works, you can understand how your gods work. You know what I mean? And you don't want to call them your gods because, honestly, your god is what created you. Your ancestors are fucking family, and they should be honored, you know what I mean, and respected. And if you ever see somebody disrespecting them and you feel that those are your ancestors, you should be right there. You know what I mean? Especially if you feel that you're a Jew. Because the fucked up shit is, that is a very, very strong possibility due to the simple fact of uh, Joseph going down to Egypt. Then you have the marriage of uh, Judah and um, the Canaanite woman that come to find out, like his son, it, like he didn't have, he was trying to continue to see through her, you know what I mean? And like he, he gave her. The, the brothers, and this is like the first time that, you know, the Lord God handles his own business. Like, this guy is wicked, so the Lord slew him. That's what it says. When Jude, look, at, look it up. After they sell Joseph to the Ishmaelites, who are part Egyptian, part Abraham, a, a, part Aramaic, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that was the original shit. It was originally Aramaic, Aramean, um, but that's a whole other level to get on because you can always call them Chaldean and just cut the cut the bullshit right there. You know what I mean? But that's that won't that won't be necessary. You know if people will act right, if people do their thing. You know that that worship you and the thing is. When it comes to worshiping your creator, it's like it says that in the Quran and all. And uh, we have like, in Babylon, they, uh, Daniel showed the king over there who the Most High was. And if you look at a lot of the things, he was backing them up so much. You know, this Nebuchadnezzar guy. But he was worshiping something else. You know what I mean? You gotta remember, if, you're re if you really are a Jew, all you really need, all you really need to do is not go worshiping some other god. You know what I mean? Don't go worshiping some other god. Real simple shit.